Hello guys, welcome back to another video of Automation Testing Insider. So today I'm going to talk about test execution. So as part of testing lifecycle, we have covered so far requirement analysis, test planning, test design, test execution. So, so far we have covered till test design. Now today we are going to talk about test execution. Later on we'll discuss about defect reporting and test closure. So these are the different stages in software testing lifecycle. So, so, so far we have requirement analysis, test planning, test design, where we have written the test cases. So if you haven't watched those videos, guys, please go and watch those videos first and come back to test execution. So once our test cases are ready and once environment uh, is set up and uh, build is ready for testing. So what developer does is once develop uh, development is done for any particular product, so they will release the software to the testing team for execution purpose and then we will execute our test cases as part of test execution process so there are some preconditions and we have to set up the environment as well so let's talk more about what you mean by test execution and how we are going to test the application in as part of test execution so in simple terms Test execution is the process of executing the test cases and comparing the result, comparing the expected and actual results. So if you remember guys, while writing the test cases, we have written expected results, like what will happen when, when we log in the application, while, uh, well, when we enter the username and password and click on sign in button, when we uh, enter the valid username and valid password and click on sign in button. So what should be the expected result? So we should see the, uh, home page right so that is expected result so as part of test execution we execute our test cases to make sure that uh, and compare the result with compare the expected with actual results whether we are able to uh, get the home page or not so that is just an example so that is nothing but the execution so we'll execute the test cases once we get the build from the developer after developer finish the coding and give the build to the tester tester will conduct the testing and validate the application as per as per the requirement so as per the requirement we have written the test cases now it's time to execute our test cases because build is ready right the developers will prepare the below document and give the testing team during the build release so there are a couple of documents they used to prepare one is srn software release note and another one is dd deployment document like how uh, a particular build should be deployed so one is software release note and one is deployment document software release note is nothing but uh, they will give the version and the build name uh, and the product name uh, all these details related to the particular software they will put in srn document and deployment instruction in deployment document tester deploy the build in test environment as per the instruction in the release document note the build is deployed in test environment either by tester or developer so build is deployed either by developer or sorry tester developer or by network team so once we get the software from development team guys so they will send the build and uh, a tester either tester developer or network team will deploy the build in, in on particular server I have already spoken about what you mean by build and release so probably you can watch that video uh, I'll provide the link in the description box of this video so that you can understand better so as we know that after build release uh, the first test should be performed is sanity testing right after sanity test is passed we will continue test execution and validate all other functionalities so sanity test you will check like whether uh, this build is capable enough of further testing or not so that is the purpose of sanity testing so once sanity testing is passed then we go for the further testing test execution can be done either manual or automation testing performed by either uh, by uh, testing performed by tester without using any tool is called manual testing and when we use any automation tool that is automation testing during execution validate all the test cases and specify actual result and status so i have already shown you in the test case document we have expected result and actual result and we have a status column a status column where we uh, mention like fail or pass based on the uh, whether our test cases is matching with the expected result or not if the status is failed we can report that as defect to the developer 
okay guys so we'll we have uh, we are going to use the defect report template or any uh, defect tool as well so there we report our defect if it is not matching with the expected result so we'll report the defect to the developer so let's talk about what is software release note so a release note refers to the technical documentation produced and distributed alongside the launch of new software product or product update so they will uh, give the release note so generally we use the release note when we deploy the software in, into the production so we'll give the release note in testing environment also uh, in some companies we used to get uh, for some products we used to get the release note as well and it briefly describes a new product or a specific detail level changes including included in a product update so whether it is a new product or uh, any changes in the product so it describes in the form of release note a software release note template is simple document that companies use to document any changes to their product elements of release notes template are like build version so this is what we i have discussed build version build location requirement in the build precondition environment deployment steps known issues defect files prepared by or uh, prepared by who is prep going to prepare that release note so these are the some of the fields which we uh, which are there in the release notes so this is about execution guys how we are going to uh, do the execution as part of testing life cycle now in the next video we'll discuss about defect report and uh, later on we'll talk about defect life cycle as well so once we uh, get any defect so we'll talk about the defect report how we are going to report the defect what is the format of the defect report and uh, uh, yeah what are the different fields which we need to mention as part of defect report so this is all about today guys thank you for watching have a nice day bye bye